This is a tutorial on how to use Chrome extensions and Chrome apps to make citations. We'll look at Cite This For Me and Apogee, both are extensions, Autobib, which is an app, and Easybib, which is another extension. The first extension that we're going to look at is one called Apogee, and it's a Chrome extension you can see up here. And what this does is take the URL that you have and it creates a citation for you. So all you have to do really is when you're on that web page is click on the Apogee extension icon and then it's going to bring it up here. It says the credibility score is 5 out of 10 so that means you might want to double check and see that all the information is there. You tap to highlight and then command C to copy. You could of course uh, command A to copy and then you can paste it wherever you want and remember you want to be sure to double check that this is the proper citation. However, it does save a lot of the work for you. Apogee works in MLA. Now the next one we're going to look at, and we'll use a different source, this time we'll go to Wikipedia, is called Cite This For Me. And that is this extension here. And like the other extension, all you have to do is uh, be on that website, and of course have the extension installed. Tap on it, and then this one gives you a choice of four different formats. So here, we have the extension for us. So all we have to do is highlight, copy, and paste. And then if we wanted, we could add it to a bibliography by tapping here, and it will open up another tab for us, and we can continue to add on to this if you want. Now we're going to look at another extension uh, called EasyBib, just like the website. And it's this orange extension up here. So we are on our website. And all I'm going to do is click on the extension icon, and I can choose View Bibliography or Cite EasyBib. I'm going to choose Cite on EasyBib. And as you can see here, it's populating some of the information. We would click Citate, Create Citation. And here is our citation. Now you're going to notice that, although it's a bibliography on Napoleon, it doesn't have anything about Napoleon. So if you were to copy and paste this citation, then you want to be careful that you have more information put in there. Let's go to another website, back to our history website, and uh, we'll use the same extension, EasyBib. So we'll click on the extension icon, Cite on EasyBib, and you can see here that there's a little bit more information given to us. So we'll click Create Citation, and here looks to be a much better MLA format citation. So you might want to choose the extension for cite, uh, citing that works for you. Now lastly, we're going to look at a form of uh, citing your books, and it's through an app called Autobib. So while your extensions are up here in the top in your Chrome browser, for apps you have to go over here to the left. So you click on your grid with different apps, and you find the app that you want to use. This one is Autobib. So we'll tap that. And you can see here, all we have to do is enter the ISBN of a book, choose the, uh, the um, formatting of the citing that you want, and click Get Citations. So we've got a book ready here on Napoleon, fairly recent. So we're going to highlight, copy, and go back to the app and we're going to paste in the ISBN, click Get Citations, and here is the citation for us. And we can just highlight, copy, and paste. So those are three extensions and one app that will help you and your students with citing. But I do recommend that even though you copy and paste your citation, you do want to be careful that you have all of the required information.